On a beautiful September Saturday, the second-ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers marched into Beaver Stadium for the third contest of the 1982 season. When Coach Paterno and Coach Osborne wished each other well, it's not likely either coach was aware of the drama that was about to unfold. The Nittany line offense gets it going early as Todd Blackledge connects with Kurt Warner for 43 yards. And on the next play, hits Kirk Bowman in the end zone, culminating a six-play, 83-yard drive. 7-0 Penn State. In the second quarter, an alert Al Harris, number 88, pounces on a loose ball. At midfield, following a black ledge to Garrity completion, it's Kurt Warner time. With a middle clogged, Warner bounces outside and races to the Nebraska four-yard line. Then sweeps left for the Lions' second score and Penn State's halftime lead is 14 to seven. On the Lions' first third quarter possession, an 83-yard scoring drive is highlighted by the running of Williams and Coles. And a rifle shot, Blackledge to Jackson. The Lion Lovers respond, but so does Nebraska to get back to within seven. A field goal narrows the Penn State march. Then Turner Gill passes and dives the Cornhuskers to a 24-21 lead, setting up one of the most exciting and dramatic one minute and 18 seconds of football ever witnessed at Beaver Stadium. From the Penn State 35, screen pass to Skeeter Nichols for 16 yards. From the Nebraska 49, Kenny Jackson makes a diving sideline catch at the 33. 52 seconds remain. On fourth and 11, no tying field goal attempt, rather a clutch connection. Black ledge to Jackson, first down. The clock is moving. Black ledge back, looking, looking. Must scramble, must get out of bounds. 13 seconds remain. From the 17, a sideliner to Mike McCluskey stops the clock. And from the two, the winning shoe top catch by Kirk Bowman. Touchdown, Penn State 27, Nebraska 24, and the celebration is on. win, a thrilling win, an important win. But this was, uh, was certainly one of the, the really great wins in Penn State history. It was on national television. It was very dramatic against a very quality football team. Uh, and w with a team that, that's fighting for some national recognition right now. And, and having played that well in, in the clutch is really very important. And I thought it was very impressive. That game was probably the greatest game at Beaver Stadium because, um, I, not just in my mind, when you ask people what game they remember, people who weren't even there think they were there. I mean, there's going to be 200,000 people think they were there. It's like when they, when, when they, when they throw a no-hitter. 200,000 people think they were there. It was such an exciting game. Nebraska, where they were. But we had a heck of a football team. Mike Munchak just went into the, into the uh, Pro Hall of Fame, and Farrell, and Romano, and Heller, and those guys. That was a heck of a line. Kurt Warner, 
Blackledge, we had, we had Jackson, we had a couple of pretty good players. 